Hi guys, Linda Antwi with the Red Carpet Report. We are here at Hollywood and Highland for the Italian Film Fest. I mean, all the hot Italians with the Italian sexy voices are all going to be here. So come on, let's go check it out. Hi, I'm Linda. Oh, hi, Linda. I'm from the Red Carpet Report. Oh, hi, I'm Winnie. And hi, Winnie. Paul. Paul. Dennis is a good friend because I played his father in a movie. Well, you know what? He was saying good things about you, and I'm personally a fan. I fell in love with you on Grey's Anatomy, and then from there I've been following all the way through. Show. Oh, of course. Yeah. Yes. So I hear that you guys have a play coming up. Yeah, so, so exciting. tell our viewers a little bit about it. It's called Assisted Living. We wrote it together, and we wrote it for each other to be in. So it's just us. It's like we did the writing, we're doing the acting. It's nobody, like ever, a, nobody ever put us together before, so we decided to do it ourselves. Well, we've been married for 28 years, and we got the idea 28 years ago when we finally finished it. Wonderful. And, and it's going to be um, opening in April at the Odyssey Theater okay. in Los Angeles. And how long is it going to be running for? It's a six-week run. Six-week run. And um, it's called Assisted Living, but it's very funny. Um, it's funny, but also touching, and it's really about how people transform each other's lives, how we help each other. I love that. And what else are you guys working on? Well, um, uh, I... She has a whole other play. I She's have a whole other play that I, I, I wrote the musical Wicked with yes. Mm -hmm. So I've kind of been moving in more in the direction of theater recently. Um, but we're doing all... And Wicked will become a movie at some point, but not yet. Uh, but probably in the near future I'll be working on that. And what advice would you give up and coming actors for the longevity? Because you've had such an amazing career and a long career. What advice would you give them? It's actually pretty simple. It's hang in there and stick to it. and Don't give up. Yeah, that's the key thing. That's it. But the thing is, if somebody can say, I saw Anthony Quinn on The Tonight Show once, and he said, what do you tell a young actor? I'd say, don't do it. Stay out of show business. Why do you say that? He says, well, if they can be dissuaded by one person saying, don't do it, they don't belong in show business. It's nothing but rejection, especially in the beginning. I figure if I've done a, a hundred jobs in my life, I've auditioned a thousand times. So your job is almost more auditioning than it is acting. Absolutely. Your job is auditioning. Exactly. Yeah. But, you know, when you think about a great actor like Al Pacino, mm -hmm. who we're all here to honor tonight, you know, when he became a star, he was very different. Yeah. He didn't fit the mold. Yeah. So even if you're out there and you're different and you don't fit the mold, it's okay. Be yourself. That's it. He actually changed That's Hollywood it. by being an anti-hero. Yeah. I love that. I love that. We'll have an amazing time, you guys, and I look forward to seeing your play. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Me too. Hi, guys. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like. And then if you want to see more videos, definitely subscribe. Bye, guys.